Hello there, everybody. Today we're going to be reading Dr. Saurus by Emmy Lou May and Leah Martin. A hundred million years ago, plus three months and a day, some dino pals met up to have a picnic and a play. Triceratops roared, can't catch me, but didn't see the tree. Then with a bash, he crashed headfirst and broke his horn in three. There, there, said Pterodactyl. I can see your horn's gone squiffy. Let's call for Dr. Saurus and she'll fix you in a jiffy. An ambulance came racing up. It skidded to a stop and out stepped Dr. Saurus in her crisp white doctor's top. Broken horns are painful, said the doc, but no disaster. I'll patch it back together with some extra sticky plaster. Then Stegosaurus sniffled, there's a splinter in my pinky. It's gone all green and gooey and it's really rather stinky. So Dr. Saurus fetched some giant tweezers from her kit. She pinched the pesky splinter and removed it in one bit. Wow, said Doc, this splinter is the biggest that I've seen. Your pinky will get better now. Just keep it nice and clean. Next, Snotty T-Rex plodded up. My nose is blocked, he said. I'm sneezing and I'm sniffling and I've got a thumping head. So Dr. Saurus sat him down and said, please open wide. She lit her special doctor's torch and shone the light inside. It's allergies, declared the doc. I bet your eyes feel sore. But try these pills. They're perfect for a poorly dinosaur. And here's some mammoth hankies. But there's one thing you should know. It would be wise to warn us all when you're about to blow. Last of all was Brontosaurus. Help! What should I do? My tummy's big and bloated and I just can't do a poo. Eat these juicy prunes, said Doc. They'll help unblock your tum. You'll soon feel so much better. And they're really rather yum. Three cheers for Dr. Saurus, Pterodactyl whooped. Hooray! Let's celebrate and scoff our yummy picnic right away. The dinos munched volcano pies and sweet Jurassic jelly. They finished off with swamp ice cream. So tasty, but so smelly. Then Dr. Saurus heard a very rumbly, grumbly sound. It shook the trees from top to toe and shuddered through the ground. Emergency, the doctor cried and waved the ice cream scoop. Take cover, Brontosaurus is about to do a poop. The dinos gasped, oh no, look out, and ran away to hide. While Bronte's stomach growled and gurgled somewhere deep inside. The prunes had worked and pop! His tummy came unblocked at last in one enormous, pongy, poopy, prehistoric blast. Ah, oh, that feels much better, Brontosaurus grinned and sighed. Then let's all bop and boogie woogie, Pterodactyl cried. The dinos danced the conga in a joyful jamboree and invited 50 dung beetles to have the poop for tea. <laughs>